Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Mountains, Digital Surf's industry standard software for surface and image analysis. Today, I'm going to show you a few of the features in Mountains that can save you time and increase productivity in your data analysis processes. These include options for customizing the software interface. We'll also have a look at some of the powerful automation tools available, such as templates and mini docs. First of all, let's focus on customizing your settings. Here in the Step Height study, I'm going to choose to display a border. I'm going to define curve thickness, background color, and say I want to analyze negative steps and display minimum depth and mean depth parameters. Then I simply save my settings by clicking on the Save Settings button and any further step height study that I carry out is automatically formatted the way I want. Similarly, if you often use the same tools for analysis in mountains, you can choose to make the ones that interest you more easily accessible whilst hiding the others. Right-click on the ribbon in the Operators or Studies tabs and choose the icons you wish to show or hide. Any icons removed are still accessible via a drop-down menu. You may wish to save a sequence of analysis steps in order to reapply them to another dataset at any time. This can be easily achieved thanks to Mountain's Mini-Doc feature. To create your Mini-Doc, go to the Mini-Docs tab and click on Save as a Mini-Doc. Give your Mini-Doc a name then simply save the actions you wish to reapply. In this case, I'm going to apply a 3D view, generate the parameters table, extract the profile from my surface, and create a document background with a company logo. To apply these steps to other datasets, all you need to do now is click on the icon you created in the Mini Docs tab. It really is that simple. The Mountains workflow also provides powerful automation features. A useful tool for automated reporting is the Mountains template feature. Say I wish to apply the sequence of analysis steps in this document to several other datasets. All I need to do is save my document, then go to the File menu, choose Apply a Template, Retrieve the document I just saved as a template, then select the folder containing my other measurements. Note that Mountains gives me access to a wide range of choices for exporting my results, such as exporting documents as PDF files or exporting numerical results to Excel. One last tool I'd like to show you is the Statistics feature. Mountains lets you automatically analyze measurement data populations, whether they be static or dynamic. Go to the File menu and choose New Statistical Document. Then select the folder containing your datasets. Mountains creates a statistics report based on these measurements. In the case of a dynamic population, the statistics report is updated continuously to take into account any new measurements added to the folder. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Mountains video tutorial. If you'd like to learn more, check out another tutorial in this series.